Hi everyone, thanks for watching this week's video. I'm Stephen Aitman, and this is my dad David Aitman. This week we're making fresh brioche. Um, the fresh brioche is one of my favourite types of bread. Um, I've got my dad in here to do this this week with us today because he's a professional baker and I want to just make sure that you get to see how it's done properly. Um, dad, do you want to just say a few words just quickly on the fundamentals of it and basically what it is? Well, what we're going to do is we're just going to make one brioche loaf. Normally brioches are made in different shapes and sizes. You can have wee individual ones or you can have a loaf or you can have a nice round one. There's all different types. Uh, it's a French type of French bread. It's enriched. It's got butter in it and eggs. And uh, it uh, takes a wee while to make and we're using fresh yeast today. So I'll get started. Okay, that's fine. We'll just crack on with that. That's great. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Right. Okay, okay Dad, so what's the, what's the first stage? Well, we're using fresh yeast, and I've got the fresh yeast in a bowl here. It's uh, 20 grams of fresh yeast, which is quite a lot because we need that. Um, and I've got some milk here, um, 30 grams of milk. I weigh the milk, I weigh everything. So that's going in. That seems like a lot of what I'm used to using it, Dad. Why, why do you use that much yeast? Well, this this type of dough, it's not a, it's a, it's not a lean dough. In other words, it's got a lot of fat in it, and eggs, and sugar, and all the things that, that actually slow down yeast. So what we want to do is just make sure that the yeast has got a chance. So we have a wee bit extra yeast in it. Um, you'll not, you'll not, uh, I'll not affect the flavour of it in any way. It just speeds up the, the fermentation process and a wee bit more yeast. You can also use uh, dried yeast. Um, some people can't get a hold of fresh yeast, but. Uh, I do manage to get it. So that's the, the yeast in the milk in first. Um, in this bowl, I've got two eggs, <coughs> which you can maybe see or not see, I'm not sure. I don't want to tell you yeah, about it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put that yeast and, the, and the, the, the milk in together, first of all. I'm going to add the flour, and I've got 200 grams of bread flour. Okay, we talked about bread flour in the last uh, uh, YouTube channel that we did, YouTube uh, video that yeah, we did. So it's, it's always important to get a good, strong uh, bread flour, isn't a, it? A strong bread flour, yes, yes. Uh, but this is more of a, a soft eating bread, so it's a, it's a more of a bun that's rich, yeah. rich. So um, we've got sugar, um, we've got uh, two, 20 grams of of sugar which is quite a lot for a small yeah, bowl of this. Yeah. I'm only making one loaf and we've got uh, three grams of salt. The, the reason that I'm using three grams of salt uh, is because there's salt also in the butter. If I was using a uh, fresh butter that didn't have any salt in it I would probably use four grams. We don't want it to be salty but the salt just uh, gives it a wee bit, a wee bit extra flavour. It would be tasteless without it. So we'll mix this roughly together first. Just to, and then once, once it's all more or less out, I can put it onto the, this board here and we'll, we'll take it from there. Now to make sure that I don't lose any, I'm going to scrape the bowl so that everything gets mixed and we're not wasteful here. So onto the board, first of all, it's quite a soft sticky dough, that's okay, but it will get even more soft and sticky once I add the butter. Now I've softened up this butter a wee bit, I've, not, I've been out of the fridge for a wee while, um, just so that it blends in more easily and more quickly. And although this is a bit sloppy, um, we can just mix it all together so it's a bit slimy a bit soft what we have to do now is to mix it and develop the gluten because the gluten that uh, holds the whole thing together and also traps the gas produced by the yeast so that the, the bread is nice and light so it seems a bit soft and sloppy um, but it'll turn into an elastic dough after about about 10 minutes of, of mixing like this. Now, you can also do this in a mixing machine, but it's quite such a small dough 
that um, it's easy enough just to do it by hand. Just mixing it, tearing it, don't be gentle with it. And just give it a good mix until it becomes a clear, uh, smooth dough. Okay, so I've been mixing this dough now for about 10 minutes. It's looking nice and smooth. I'm just going to scrape it all up together, nice and smooth, and I'm going to put it into a bowl. Now I've got this bowl here, which um, it's got a wee, uh, drop of, of vegetable oil, um, just to stop the dough from sticking when I try to take it back out again. And I'm going to put this wee hat on it. All right, it's just a, a cover. And you could use a cloth if you wanted to. You could use a cloth yeah. or, or, or a cling film or anything like that. And I'm just going to put it away for about one hour, um, in which time the, the dough will, will grow uh, to about double the size that it is now. And that's what we're looking for. Perfect. Okay. Now, the dough has been lying for uh, over an hour, uh, just over an hour. And when I look at it more, oh, you'll see that it's, it's grown quite a fair bit. Um, I'm going to put it on the floor again. Maybe just put a wee, a wee dust of flour. Um, and it should come out fairly easily. The dough's nice and light and ready to be moulded. Oh, that's the bigger. There we go. Don't want to lose any. So, just pull that together. Now at this stage, we, we can prepare the tin that it's going to go in. Now I've got a tin prepared here. This is a, a single loaf tin, a small loaf tin. And I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, but um, I've greased the tin with some white vegetable fat. And that's just to stop it from sticking. Uh, it could stick otherwise because of the, the sugar and, and so on that's in it. So, very often just uh, you see these being done in pieces. Uh, normally eight pieces for a, for, a, uh, for, a, for a loaf of this size. And what would happen is you would take that and mould it round into a ball and put it into the tin. Right? It would normally be weighed about 70 grams each. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something different with it. Uh, it's a bit easier and it saves a wee bit of time. And it looks, uh, it looks good. So I'm going to take the dough put it together and I'm going to roll it into a rope nice and gently backwards and forwards um, it's a soft dough uh, it can become sticky and if it does all we do is uh, put a wee bit of flour on the board and it will still be okay you'll find it's very elastic and very springy this dough and it's uh, full of life from the yeast and what I'm going to do with this is it's all going to go into that tin. I'm rolling it out quite long and I'm going to fold this in three. So I've got two bits like that, one bit up into the middle. I'm going to bring this bit down, that bit over, that bit over again and this bit tucked in. So it now becomes like a pleated loaf. Plonk it into the tin. Take some egg, beaten egg, and just carefully brush it. Try not to get too much on the tin. Try not to get any on the tin if you can, because that can stick in the tin. But this will give it a nice gloss. And that's that. Now, going to just cover this with a piece of, of uh, cling film and put it away to rest for another 40-50 oh, minutes until it comes up to the top of the tin and then it will go into the oven. There we are, nice and cosy in there, ready to be proved and baked. Okay, now this dough is fully proved, it's right up to the top of the tin, it's actually quite delicate at this stage, uh, full of, of gas and ready to go into the oven and I'm going to just paint it uh, 
with some egg, some beaten egg, just to make give it a nice gloss on the top. And as soon as I've done that, I'm going to put it straight into the oven. Don't put too much egg on it because if it runs down the sides uh, onto the tin, uh, there's a chance that the, the loaf will uh, stick when you're trying to get it out of the tin. And what temperature would you cook this at? That's going to go in about uh, 300 and a, uh, sorry, no, in, in, in centigrade, about 170 degrees. 170 degrees centigrade. For about 25 to 30 minutes. Perfect. Okay. Okay, right, that's the bread out of the oven. You can see it there nicely brown on the top. I'm going to turn that out and set it on the board. First of all, now I'm going to let that cool down for a few minutes before I cut it because it's a bit too soft at the moment. But uh, that'll be fine. In fact, I'll put it onto this wee uh, wire rack uh, just for five minutes and then I'll come back and we'll cut it and we might taste it. We'll have a wee look at it. Sounds good. Okay, this looks fantastic. Um, I think we we'll have to give it a go. What do you reckon? Yeah, fine. Yeah, let's yeah. give it a go. That's delicious. Nice and light. Yeah. Please give us a go. If you enjoyed today's video, please just give me the thumbs up and please just hit that subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Okay.